Yoda Fox of Kitsuga.com here with Pirate G, also of Kitsuga.com. We're playing Yay. Day of Defeat. No, I'm kidding. We're playing Day of Infamy. It only looks like Day of Defeat. And we are playing it. It is a World War II fighting trench game simulator. Where? Are you alive? I am. I'm in the bunker trying to save... Trying to bunker. save the bunker people? And that's Hazel. I died in the bunker. They're at the bunker in A. Yeah, I'm trying to sharpshoot. It's all good. We have a bot there defending. It should be fine. So this is a uh, this is the the starter PVP mode. Um, it looks like we have mostly bots. <laughs> uh, yeah, like... we might want to jump into a. I mean, going in with the pistol. Five minutes until this game is over, so we can play this game. So we're oh god, that's a guy. There's a guy in the bunker immediately to the right, like where you were first trying to shoot with your machine gun and gun it. Yep, I saw him over there. He killed me earlier. So we were playing the Wehrmacht. I just threw a grenade at him, so. I'm dead, so. Yeah, I threw a grenade at that guy who was on the side there. Mm-hmm. Waiting for reinforcements. You got attacked by a teammate. I attacked a teammate all the way around. That said, Rick Harrison attacked you, and then you attacked him. I'm Rick Harrison, and this is my bunker. <coughs> he just attacked me again, you motherfuckers! Stop no, playing. he died, and that was an enemy that walked in. No, it said AVP attacked a teammate. Mm. I'm currently blocking the capture of A. So this is a, a more realistic World War II style shooter uh, than your BF1. I took an, a look at this when it was in early access a while back, and now it's- Oh! There's still a guy with an MG over there. He's still Where? in that same spot he was before. He's just hanging out. <coughs> Mm -hmm. uh, earlier it was, this was in Early Access before, and now it is out of Early Access, and we are playing it. Hazel, did you get your, um, monster? She might have died in the blizzard. Oh god, my girlfriend died in the blizzard. So as you can see, we respawn in waves. They captured Bunker A, so now we have to defend Bunker B. Uh, if we can defend Bunker B. There's a lot of them coming my way. Uh, I suggest you kill them all. I killed one with my pistol. So this game features a lot of realistic things, including the ability to not sprint forever. Oh, I need to get away from here for defending B now. Yeah, we're defending B, so... Um, we have a little compass at the bottom there, you can see. So he said enemy spotted north, so I can tell you that that's this way. It looks like the enemy will be coming... Oh god, barbed wire hurts. Yes, barbed wire will hurt. The enemy will be coming up from this direction. That's the bunker we were defending that we just lost. So I'm gonna There's somebody by the left corner of that bunker. Yeah, they'll come they'll come straight up the bunker, don't worry. <laughs> we're gonna stay here and defend as best oh he just, I just saw his head pop up. It looks there. like I keep seeing guys coming from the left. All my experience recently in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds has prepared me well for this game. But has not prepared me well for all of those Google alerts that come through. Mm -hmm. So oh this God, is what a, was a, that? a grenade. So this is more realistic. You're not going to get any uh, tracers. You're not going to get any bullet tracers. You're not going to get any uh, any real HUD items. This rock star is like the perfect temperature. Because it was outside in the freezing cold? In the just slightly above freezing cold, yeah. 
Yeah, because the perfect temperature for Rockstar is definitely like just barely not perfect. I wonder what the freezing point of Rockstar is. Uh, it's full of sugar, so considerably <coughs> less than. Well, this is diet. Yeah, it's full of even worse than. It's full of a bunch of fake sugars, which have an even lower freezing point. You're full of a bunch of fake sugars, that's why you're so sweet. That's why I'm so fat. Lamau. So we have Where? to defend this bunker for 8 minutes and 44 seconds. It's not the most exciting task in the world. Oh. Um, uh, Got a guy. Unless they've changed it significantly since the beta, Americans always attack, Germans always defend. Um, this game is built on the Source 2 engine. It looks a little better than it looked in the beta. Um, I would not say there have been significant graphical updates. Wow, there's a there's flamethrower. Flame it's a friendly flamethrower, though. Okay. Oh, there's a guy on the right side. He just popped me in the face. As you can see, death in one bullet is pretty common. Let's take a look at the classes. We have the Officer class, the Funker class, the Grenadier class, the Stormtrooper class, the word I can't pronounce but probably means big ass machine gun class. I'm the almost Flame out of ammo Shusa for my class, pistol. In the Panzer Jager oh, class, crap. and the MG <laughs> class, and the Scharfenjuta class. Uh, we're gonna stick with our, our Grenadier class. This is our most basic class in the game. I'm going to Stormtrooper now with those guys coming up on us. That was, uh, the sniper. Or you I've got more kills with my pistol, though. And we have, uh, we have pure- we have period-accurate weapons, so... Are you recording this with the adoring fans? I am. So I have okay. the ability to run for much longer than other classes, so I'm gonna sprint over to that bunker that we're defending, which is B. They're coming out of that underground area in front of the bunker. <clears throat> Are they still there? I can throw it. I don't know. There's, we're getting shot at, so I'd assume yes. From the right. We're getting shot at from the right somewhere. Oh, I see him. So we have World War II era weapons here. This is like an M1 Garand, but the German version. I don't know what the German version of the Garand is. And I'm not a weapons expert. That's Rob. Yep, they're in that lower bunker. Oh god, that that hurts. So this is when it would be super useful to have. Get a... out of there! Get out of there! What? That's a that's a friendly flamethrower guy. Oh, that's a grenade. Yeah, that's why I told you to get out of there. All right. Well, I have a grenade as well. So fuck you, mate. I almost shot AVP. Ah, <coughs> uh, it's the Carabiner 98K. It says. So. Oh, there's an enemy right in front of me there. I think we'll switch to uh, a machine gunner class, or a possibly even flamethrower class. Yeah, let's let's do flamethrower class. I've never played that before, so. Um, and as you can probably see if you've looked, there's a bunch of additions to each class that you can get, uh, where you can like deck out your classes. I haven't really looked at any of them yet, but you can do it. Here you can see the brilliance of our bots who stare at walls and run into walls. Alright, so now we are oh. the flame shooter class. I came up behind somebody, killed him, and then his buddy shot me. That is how this game usually works. I had to reload, and he shot me. So it's good that they've added bots, because last time I was here they don't think they had bots, and that was sort of annoying, to be honest. It meant that you sort of died early and often. So this, this flamethrower actually goes, like, super far. Hmm. Oh, that guy shot me through the flames. Rip. Ah. Oh, you can change your... your kits. Somewhat. I'll try a radio man. Uh, the radio man can call in artillery, I believe. Well, you need the officer and the radio man, like, next to each other. Uh, okay, I'll do the <coughs> officer then. Here, come with me. If you want to live. So I have binoculars, which I can use to call airstrikes, I think. 
Mm-hmm. And then Jeep needs to be near me when I do that, but I have never done it before, so let's see if it works. Well, let's test it. Just call an airstrike somewhere. I can call a bunch of things. Stuka dive bomb! I, I called the Stuka dive bomber in. Where are you going? Just to hang out over here. It's the guy to the left. Are you close to me? I, sh I can call the, the dive bomber in. Oh god. Throw a grenade! Flamethrower behind you. <coughs> behind me? Yes. I don't see him, but okay. Well, he killed me. I don't like the gun of that guy. It's kind of hard to aim. Alright, so I called in uh, carpet bombing over here, so you should see some bombs dropping. Okay, I'm coming back in. Is a uh, radio guy for you? I got sniped in the head. Mm -hmm. Oh, well then I'll try a different class. I will try a grenadier. I'm going back to my flame shooter. I like shoot the flames. So as you can see, we also have a limited number of waves. Uh, so in s they have seven waves coming in. That's telling us how many waves they have left until the end of the game, which is not that hmm. many. Um, we may win this game. Only two minutes left of defense. Um, there's not a lot of uh, humans on the other team. Only on like either team right now. Three humans on the other team. Um, when I played this earlier, it was extremely difficult, gotcha, to find um, any sort of game, really, that wasn't just full bots. Well, there we go, we got a couple kills there. Yeah, I shot the guy that came up behind you. Nice. So you can see my score over here. Six kills, two assists, eight deaths. Uh, you can also see a handy map. Though it's kind of in a, in a hand style, showing where they're attacking right now. This is the enemy spawn, and this is where they're attacking us. How do you see the map? Uh, let's press the uh, tab key. Ooh, oh, that's cool. And <coughs> you can also see uh, a few other things in that view, like where your teammates currently are located. So we have only a minute and 15 seconds left to defend, uh, which is not bad at all. So I'm going to go down inside here and drop a couple There's of There's a bunch on minutes. the... Whoa. Run! That was scary. They're I coming out the bunker, Shot by my teammates there, guys. <laughs> they were coming out, <laughs> uh, out of the hole there, and I got shot by my yeah. teammates. Were you right there in the hole? Yeah, I was behind them. Did I shoot you? I don't know. Maybe. Because I shot somebody. It's possible. It reminds me a lot of an uh, old Quake 2 mod I used to play that was World War II. Um, it's very heavily, this is very heavily called the sequel to Day of Defeat. And Day of Defeat Source. Obviously, uh, those are apt metaphors as it is a World War II game. And it is- oh, I blew up the flamethrower! They're capturing point B. We want to get to point B if we can. I love nope. that you can just slither around like Oh, I got shot in the face by a guy. Yeah, I saw that. <coughs> I literally saw your head explode. He ran up and just shot me. Alright, so, as long as we don't let them capture this, we should win. I think I like the sniper class. I'm gonna throw a couple of these over there. 
And there you go, successful defense. Ooh. So that has been it's a really fast Oh, most game. radios provided. Look at go. that. Good job. So that's <laughs> Not that there was any really... me doing. Let's go to the other mode, Jeet.